Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers, and today I'm going to show you a simple beginner's tutorial on how Blendif works with transparency. And this will be a very quick tutorial, so let's get started. Okay, I pulled in two stock photos. One is this glass here, and the other is limes. I pulled them in from Pixabay here in stock, and I have the links right there. First, I'm going to actually duplicate these because I always keep the originals just in case I make an error. So let's keep these originals. So I'm doing Control uh, or Command J, depending on what op operating system you're on. I'm taking these two, I'm grouping them, and I'm calling it Originals. And I'm going to turn it off so we can't see them. So now we just have these two right here. Nothing else is here. And I am going to hide the limes for now. And we're going to work on the glass. And I'm going to take the pen tool. And this does not have to be very precise. I'm just going to be tapping here, trying to follow close enough to the glass. Like something like that. And let's do this one. And then I'll just drag a little here. And I'll tap again right here. And I'll just go, I'll probably speed this up. So there you go. And actually, I didn't even need to do all this up here because I'm only going to be working down here. But I just ended up doing it. So <laughs> it doesn't hurt to have it there. And now all I have to do is hit selection. I'm not even going to refine in this case. I'm just going to hit a selection right there. And making sure that that glass is selected, I'm going to create a mask. I just click mask. And I've just masked it out. And I'm going to deselect right now. So all I'm showing is this glass. Now I'm going to take another copy right from down here, Control or Command J, of that glass and put it behind it. So now it looks like the same glass, right? I'm going to show you why I'm doing that. Let's turn the limes on. And let's say we move these limes behind the glass. So now it looks like they're behind it, but the background is still there. And what we have to try to do is get the limes to show through the glass. So it's not really very hard. All you do is go back to the top layer of the glass, go to this gear, and that's what's called, uh, we, it's blend options in Photoshop. I'm so used to Photoshop. And by now I shouldn't be because I've been using Affinity for almost two years. <laughs> but I still call it Blend If. But in Photoshop it's Blend If, and here it's called Blend Options. And I want to take off Linear, that checkbox on the bottom right here. I'm going to show you this closer here. And I'm going to bring down the, the underneath layer, which is this lime. So I'm going to take that lime, and as I come down, you see how the limes start to show through? And that works out really nice. If I want to, I can add a point here and I can bring back maybe make it a little bit lighter or just fade it a little bit because it's in the glass. I can also move this here, which might bring a little of the glass back. See the color of the glass, but I don't want it that much. I think this is pretty good actually by itself. If I did this, it's too much lime. It's taking the whole line back. This is making it fade. So I want to pick a spot that I think is good. I mean, if I brought this up, it also brings back some of the line. So I'm trying to find what I think with the water or the liquid, whatever's in there, the gin, <laughs> anything that's in there would fade it a little. And I think kind of, I think I'm kind of liking that just like that. So that alone shows you it's see-through, but that's not really good enough because the water would distort it when you're looking through there. So we want to fix that too. So how would we fix that? Well, what I'll do is I'm going to duplicate the lines, Control or Command J. Now we have uh, two things of lines, and then I'm going to copy this mask, Control or Command J again. And what I'll do with that mask is I'm going to put that on top of these limes right here. Whoops, I'm trying to get it right onto the limes itself. And there you go. So if I turned off the bottom set of limes, all you're seeing is the limes in the glass. Now, of course, we don't want that. We want them all on, right? So we want to liquefy these inside ones. We want to distort them a little. 
And to liquefy them, you have to take that center. Let's turn this off for a second. And you have to right click and say, rasterize to have it work. You can do rasterize and trim either one. That works fine. And so now we only are showing that and it's a pixel layer. We could turn these back on. Now make sure to take, be selecting that center layer with the limes and we want to go to liquefy persona and in liquefy persona i gotta make my brush smaller there's something called freeze right here liquefy freeze and what liquefy freeze does is it anywhere you paint will not be liquefied so i'm just gonna take this like this like we do not want any of this outside limes to be liquefied so we only want the limes on the inside of the glass to be liquefied. And we're only going to be affecting the limes on the inside of the glass because that's the pixel layer. We want to make sure when we push the limes out, it doesn't go past the glass. Because if it goes past the glass, it's going to cover up the original limes. And we don't want that to happen. So now we go right up here and it says liquefy push forward. And I'm going to do that. And... All I'm doing now is I'm going to play. I'm making my brush bigger. I'm just going to kind of pull a little. You see how it just distorts some of the lime there? I just want it, especially where the lime meets here, we want to kind of move it around. And you pick and choose how you want to move your lime around. Just think of it as in water, and it might get distorted in the water. That's all you have to think about. And I think maybe... That might be okay. And we'll just hit apply. And now you can see inside the water is kind of, a, I did a little bit too much distortion over there, but you can always go in and pull it back if you want. But I'm just trying to give you an idea. And so that's it. And this is a very simple tutorial. Uh, you could also, if you really want to go crazy a little bit, the limes on the outside obviously don't look like they match this thing. You can you can do, let me see, now we're getting into other things. Let's try curves first. We could lower the lime colors in there a little bit. I should have probably done that in the beginning, but it just darken it and make it go with this. You could have also done a gradient overlay to put a little gray in there. But I was trying to keep this simple uh, and make it a beginner's tutorial. And that's how Blendif works. So it's very simple. We just pulled down, remember, all we did was we we took this, we hit the gear. Now, now if we didn't do that, we brought, if we brought this back up and we deleted this, that's what it would look like. But we didn't. We were pulling the bottom out, the colors out of the bottom there, just like that. And because the colors on the bottom, on the top are lighter, what we're doing is we're really getting rid of the lighter colors. That's kind of how it's working. So I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you did, please click like, subscribe, and please share the links so other people can learn about these things. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye.